Hello and welcome to this latest uh, Lucosa retro game review. Now, I may have bitten off a bit more than I can chew with this one. Um, this is Double Take, which was uh, uh, written by Denton Designs, released by Ocean. Um, it's the only uh, Denton Designs game I know of where Fred Gray didn't do the music um, and it rather shows it's I mean the music's not terrible but it's not brilliant and um, yeah it's absolutely not of the calibre that uh, Fred Gray would uh, produce now the game itself is a bit of a complicated one to try and describe Basically, um, it takes place in uh, a laboratory above a uh, particle accelerator and um, an experiment has gone wrong and it's led to uh, various gateways between our universe and a mirror image universe, uh, a sort of negative uh, version of our universe, um, has opened up and uh, various objects from each universe have got mixed up and lost uh, between uh, the two uh, positive and negative uh, universes. And your the, well, the object of the game is for you to go around, find the objects, put them back in their right place. Yeah. Which is easier said than done, because this game is pretty bloody tricky. Um, but here we go. So you play this... Uh, um, uh, you actually play the lab assistant. It's never explained quite how, um, how or why he's able to uh, fly around, but nevertheless he does. And you are destroying the various uh, aliens that have cropped up. Now, I've picked up a uh, device here, so let's see if I can now leave this area. Now, the lights that are indicating uh, next to the uh, left-hand panel are telling me, with regards to the object, uh, a red light means that I've well, got the object in the wrong place. Right, so let's move out of here and try and go somewhere else. Right, so now I'm in the right universe. I'm now in the negative universe. And uh, I now need to find uh, the right room. And that will be where to drop this object that I'm carrying. So, let's see if it's down through here. Looks like I'm in the right place. So, I can drop this object, and that's in the right area now. So now, I need to continue destroying uh, these uh, various aliens, while picking up other objects, if there are any other objects in this room. Okay, doesn't look like there are any here, so let's try and leave here. Okay, time in this area is, is up. You um, only get a limited amount of time in each room before you are then suddenly warped to uh, another area as a result of the uh, instability uh, from the experiment going wrong. As there doesn't seem to be anything I can pick up there. Let's go here. The uh, silver, or not silver, the uh, yellow rain cloud that passes across. Okay, uh, this is what room I've already been in. Uh, yeah, so uh, the yellow cloud that uh, passes across there is um, another gateway to uh, the negative. Uh, or positive universe. The tricky part is actually to being able to pick up objects once you've even found them. The 
control method is a bit awkward. As well as, uh, well, I mean, again, extra points for shooting all of these uh, aliens there, but that's not really the entire point of the game. You only get the one life, but um, every time you are hit, uh, you lose energy. You do actually start off with quite a sizable amount of energy, so uh, you don't need to worry about that too much in the beginning. So our time ran out there, so we've now been walked to another uh, location. Still can't pick up uh, anything here. To, in order to pick up objects you have to push fire and down but uh, obviously that means if you are up hovering around in the, in the air picking them up is uh, easier said than done uh, I'm not having much luck here, let's see if we can bugger off somewhere else uh, it looks like we're back in the initial uh, having any luck with actually picking anything up but uh, this is when the game starts to get a bit annoying because you're having a hell of a time trying to find the various uh, items that you are supposed to pick up and you don't have much of a clue as to where they are or even which items can or can't be uh, collected Uh, I thought that picture was one of them, but no, it isn't. Try it through here. And time's up anyway, so now we're being walked back to uh, another random area. Uh, hopefully this area is one or something that I can now collect. No, it doesn't look like it does. Right, let's try through here. Now the um, uh, display in the bottom right, I forgot to point out actually, is where the game gets extremely complicated and uh, a bit uh, full of itself almost. That's um, showing you the uh, electron which uh, it's something to do with uh, how you can tell whether you're in the positive or negative area and whether the uh, room you're in has been stabilised following the uh, experiment that's led to this gateway opening in the first place. Um, I, I mean, you can probably tell from my description of it that I had a hell of a time managing to sort of keep up with what was what and, and what I was doing at the best of times. I mean, I've seen some uh, YouTube videos from people playing this and it was clear that they didn't have the faintest clue what they were doing because all they were, were doing was just going around shooting all the aliens. And you need to do rather more than that. Now here's that object again, but that's the one I've already picked up. It's, already in the right place, so I don't need to uh, pick it up again. But what about that calculator thing there? No, it doesn't look like I can pick that up either. Oh, there we go, right. Now, it's in the right room and the only thing is it's not in the actual right universe. So I need one of those uh, yellow uh, clouds to come along which will allow me to go back to, I think I'm in the negative universe at the moment picking up, or, um, no not pick up uh, following that yellow cloud along when it uh, actually does show up, or if it shows up um, will then allow me to uh, go back to the right uh, universe where this object I'm carrying has to go and then I can 
drop it off there and it will be in the right place but my time here has run out so now okay I've been moved to the right uh, universe as a result of this shift so hopefully I can now find the right room oh shit no I'm getting further and further away all right let's go back There's a cloud there. All right, let's see if we can uh, follow it. Uh, this should... Oh, Christ, no. This is taking me even further away. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, I'm being moved further and further away from uh, where this object is meant to go. But, uh... And this isn't helping either. I think this is just moving me back from, uh... Okay, no, I'm in uh, a new room. I'm still nowhere near where I need to go. Right, well there's another yellow cloud, so let's try and get it to take me back to the right, uh universe at least right now I am absolutely nowhere near the uh, area I have to go all three lights uh, describing the object I'm carrying are red it also looks like I've picked up an object that I really did not want to uh, pick up in the first place I seem to be stuck inside the actual plasma accelerator itself. I really don't want to be here. And I think... Oh, OK, here we go. Uh, so let's head back... Uh, the other way, or try to head back the other way. Yeah, my energy is not looking too good right now. It also doesn't help with a number of uh, like rooms and locations that look identical to each other, so you don't really know if you're moving or not until you come here. Okay, I have got the, the right object then. It looks like I'm going to have to wait for another one of those... Uh, Okay, my time's up, so uh, we're shifting anyway. Hopefully this will take us somewhere a bit more useful. Like here, it's taken us to the room that I need to be at. There we go. Right, so now those electrons there, you'll see there are two green and one red one. The two greens means that there are two objects here that are meant to be here, but there is one object that uh, still needs to be uh, added to this room. Although finding it is, uh, well, anybody's guess. So let's try and shift away and see if there's anything over here. Well, we know this area, so if we now go back Oh shit, no, I'm going the wrong way. It's, uh, it's this way I wanted to go. Then I should be able to uh, pick up one of the other objects that I found uh, earlier on. But I couldn't grab it because I was already carrying something. not be the place I wanted, but, uh, 
Alright. Now this place is, actually it looks like I'm already pretty close to having, or being in the right area for this object. Okay, going further away now, so let's head back and see if going back this way uh, will take it into the right area. No. Alright, in that case I shall have to go back to here and either wait for the time to run out or wait for a uh, cloud to come along. Which means I've basically treated it as a shoot em up for the moment until uh, It looks like the time's almost up, and it is, so now you're being shifted uh, to another area. Okay, this looks promising, except that that bottom light is flashing, so we need to no, not go here, this is the wrong way, we want to head back here. We're in the right room. It's just that we're in the uh, wrong universe, so to speak. You can see there is the object that I'm carrying. That's the one from um, our universe, so to speak. And we need to uh, get take this one that I'm carrying to the mirror universe and put it back in its right place, which is right there. The trouble is, I have to wait for a yellow cloud to uh, take me to roughly the right place. Okay, so the time is up. Let's see what uh, this does this time. Right, now we are in the uh, right universe, but uh, we are not in the right room. So let's see if we can find it before our time runs out. So, uh, while I'm trying to do that and fucking it up, I'll just get out of there. Um, what do I think of the game? Um, uh, right, graphically I'm not that impressed with it, it's, it's a bit of a, you know, it's, it's a bit... Uh, um, gameplay wise, it does start to get a bit annoying because uh, you find yourself doing, well, you find yourself constantly, you know, just shooting away and not really getting very far. It's uh, confusing as hell, as if, you know, my description didn't already make that painfully obvious. Um, Sound-wise, it's, it's okay. Uh, I mean, the tune is relatively alright before you hear it for the millionth time and it starts getting on your fucking tits. But, um, yeah, I, the, the idea is is great, and the, the actual, like, storyline, so to speak, I think is, is a really good one. Unfortunately, the way they've gone about, you know, putting it together isn't so great. It's, yeah, it's, and like I said at the start, they never actually explain why your uh, character seems to have this ability of flying around the room. Considering all he is, is just a... Uh... Oh, shit. I really did not want to come here. <laughs> uh, considering that uh, your character is just, uh, you know, some lab assistant, the fact that he's able to fly around the room really doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Nevertheless, he can, and does. Um, so, I mean, if you can look past that, and just, you know, actually get into the storyline, and 
one she been out to make head and head or tail of the bloody storyline, which is a bit of a task in itself. You you could well find yourself thinking, you know, yeah, this is a great one. Um, it didn't get the greatest uh, reception when it came out, and I can perfectly understand why. Um, I mean, I think it's a bit of a bit of a mess. It's, it doesn't really grab me that much. I would rate it. Um, well, I would rate it slap bang in the middle of uh, you know five out of ten. I'd, it doesn't have an, uh, enough in it for me to you know rate it any higher than that. It's, it had potential, but didn't really uh, execute it all that well. So, um, yeah, 5 out of 10 is uh, all this will get from me. I'll into another right room. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to leave that there, actually. So that's, uh, that is Double Take from Ocean. A bit of a mess, could have been absolutely superb, and unfortunately it just isn't, it's very mediocre. So, there you go, 5 out of 10 for that one, that brings this video to an end, um, I shall see you at the next one.